Yeah, got a new show for y'all. Got a damn good show. The race baiter hustler Jamal Bowman. Yeah. He was all, well, he for all intents and purposes, he was a, a DI hire. Yeah. He epitomizes the what's wrong with this country. No, no, I'm gonna take y'all a step further. He epitomizes the prejudice I have for black folks. <laughs> now I'm not racist. But I am prejudiced. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's out. He lost. And he knew it was coming. Look at him uh, before the uh, before the start voting. He's out there. The war will be the hey, begging for votes in the rain. <laughs> we need and losing the campaign. And it's raining outside. outside. Yeah. No one ever gives either one love. And What's the point of the cardboard on his head? He might as well just take it down. Not just for the campaign. <laughs> it's beyond. not keeping you dry. <laughs> That dude is not smart at all. Right now, if you can dedicate today, tomorrow, Lisa took his glasses off. Tuesday, to getting people out to vote. He's big. To win this election because of either one. Playing it now. You do what you can do in the rain today. That's fine. Thought he had a huge crowd out there. We still got out there in the rain for twenty people. Now, y'all, that's what we're doing. Cease fire now. Let's get it popping. The polls are open today. The polls are open tomorrow. Make sure you get up. Yeah, but uh, I think you should have been more faithful to the Jews. <laughs> yeah, the Jews, man, they have a lot of uh, uh, the Jewish state of Israel, nation, whatever you want to call it. They have a huge influence on our politics. Yeah. If you don't have that backing, chance of you being elected anywhere in this country, whether yeah. you're a Democrat or a Republican, yeah. you need them. Yeah, it's like, like it's like they give America permission for these people to actually work for our government. <laughs> yeah, well, money. Money. You know what you say about uh, I ain't gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It's all about the bench. <laughs> you got you got That's them, a little truth to that. You gotta admit them Jews got some deep pockets. <laughs> <laughs> them pockets is deep. Negroes, y'all could take a y'all can learn something from a Jew. You can learn. They got tired of all that oppression. Yeah. They said, no, nah, we're gonna put ourselves in a position mm -hmm. where we don't have to rely on nobody no more. Everybody's gonna rely on us. Yeah. Even the United States of America. Yeah. Look what the Jews went through. Yeah. Hey, but look who he lost they, to. They are, hey, hey I'm something. done talking about the Jews, man. I'm just trying to help black folks out, man. You can't help them. You know what you're right. Hey, but uh Check out who he lost to. The, the centrist candidate for New York 16 has won. Man. Westchester County Executive George Latimer beating incumbent Jamal Bowman 58 to 42 yeah, percent of the vote. Bowman, slide. who was trailing Thank Latimer you. going into the contest, showing up with progressive firepower this past week in the Bronx with Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Senator Bernie Sanders. But it was not enough to defeat a well-funded and more pro-Israel candidate. Political analysts hey, saying this is also exposing <laughs> fractures over race and class in this diverse <laughs> district, straddling parts of Westchester County. <laughs> and the Bronx. Latimer, who is a pro-Israel centrist, had his campaign largely funded with money from a pro-Israel PAC, which helped flood airwaves and fill mailboxes with flyers. Man, that dude's got panoramic view. <laughs> that, dude, that dude can see behind him in front of him. Man. Uh, I don't know what you call that. I think it's called, um, I think you can fix it through uh, surgery. I don't even think you can call that astigmatism. What is stigmatism? Is that when your eyes kind of like I heard of a lazy you heard of a lazy eye. Yeah, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. That's a lazy eye. That is not a lazy eye. I remember this one girl, uh, she was in high school. Girl was cute, man. I remember her. And she had that lazy eye, man. <laughs> used to drive me crazy. <laughs> she liked black guys though, so she's racist. <laughs> That's a cute white girl, though. <laughs> <laughs> she was racist, man. She just had a tight, man. Yeah. yeah. That is racist, though. No, it ain't. There it is. I, I date everybody. I don't, I don't discriminate against nothing. Yeah. If you find, you find. Yeah, but he was a pro-Israel candidate. That's what got rid of Bowman. <clears throat> yeah, he he was in a... 
He was talking a lot of crap about the Jews. Yeah, he he was he's he was uh, marginalized and, and dispersed in the Jews. <laughs> See, when I talk about the Jews, it's constructive criticism. <laughs> <laughs> See what I'm saying? I actually agree with them a lot. Is uh, uh, tapping me on the table, folks. Shut up. You ship them Jews do to black people. They get rid of you real quick. And now other cannon, you can look crazy as hell on stage. You still gonna lose. Y'all better shut up, man. Y'all might see two twins in there, eyes looking crazy as hell. <laughs> like, what happened to the harsh twins? Hey, uh, somebody left a comment because I was like researching on what happened. We lost two. Uh -huh. Somebody, what did? It was in a comment. They called him a uh, dead, deadpan. Yeah, somebody made a comment about this character from um. Who was that? That's a character from um. Mad that's Mad Eye Moody. <laughs> Man, I'm yeah, moody. that's a character from um, what's that? Harry Potter, right? So I'm uh -huh. going through the comments, uh -huh. and somebody said, "Damn, I can't believe Mad Mad Eye Moody won." <laughs> I didn't know what he was talking about because I didn't, I haven't watched a lot of Harry Potter stuff. Yeah, I need to watch that. And I saw that's that like one of the whitest things you can do is watch <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> and me and y'all know how I feel about white people. I need to, hey. I need to put that on my. To do list, watch Harry Potter at yeah. least ten times. Yeah, like I, I saw that comment and then I started looking at Mad Eye Moody and then I was looking up. It's like, wait a minute, this guy is—he's not even a politician. So I keep looking and see who won, and then I start seeing the best. Like, oh, that's my God, <laughs> Mad Eye Moody. So, but he's actually a centrist. What is that? I think that's a liberal, moderate. Oh. What are you talking about? Those are dead. <laughs> well, you can't be. You he's can't progressive. Be, no, you can't be progressive and pro Israel. That's impossible. That's like being. Well, uh, what that's like. Hold on, is? hold on. Don't, don't, don't hold on me. That's like no, being. No, no. What that's, you talking about? Who you telling no, me to hold on? No, I'm no, trying to make you, an example. No, no, we can stop this right now. You don't you ever tell me to hold on? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like that dude, uh, uh, Fetterman. He's progressive. He won't, he, you ask him a question about the Jews, no comment. He won't say anything because he knows if he disperses the Jews, he can be right there on the unemployment line with Bowman. <laughs> they both are going to be flipping patties. No, but being <laughs> progressive and pro-Israel, that doesn't mix. That's like well, being, being progressive and having common sense don't mix either. Those people just... Hey, let me say something. They don't have a brain. Hey, let me say something. Being progressive and being pro-Israel, it's like being... <clears throat> it's like being pro-cop pro and pro-pedo. What? It's like being, being pro-cop and lenient on crime. No, no, no. Yeah. Or... Or like this, I got I got one for you. Being progressive and pro Israel is like being pro cop and pro black. What? So it's just me being progressive. You see that? That don't make no sense. What the hell yeah. are you talking about? Being progressive and pro uh I was joking. Oh, he's being facetious. Oh, I get it. That's it, that was a good one. Show's over. It's time to give up our new giveaway. It's a Dodge Ram power truck. And we about to do something we ain't never did before. It's a camper. Not only you get a brand new truck, you get a camper with it too. And 10,000 in cash. Hey, Keith. Yeah. We've given away over $2 million in trucks and cash and prizes. We give them back to the people who support us. Instead of giving money to Facebook to advertise this stuff, yeah. they censor us anyway. So I said, you know what? Incentivize our own people to already support us. It's a win-win for everybody. Go to officialhawktwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically. End of the win. Yeah. No purchase necessary. Board were prohibited. See official rules for details. Yeah.